What's up guys? So we are back at it. Hope everybody out there is having a blessed day. It is windy as a mofo out here. Uh, we got like 14 mile an hour wind. It's a north east wind. So I'm gonna come out and see if we can get on some, but I probably should have tried to come yesterday. It was sunny, it was windy, but it was sunny. That would have been probably a better offshore bite. This clouds and winds usually pushes them more up shallow or that's where they're biting better. And I really want to fish out offshore more, but we're going to come out here for a couple hours, probably fish the cool calm side and see if we can get on some. So stay tuned. So this is probably one of the calmer areas right now. Um, there's a point over here. There was a pretty good school and it started back there at 18. They were suspended though. The bulk of them were down in 15. So a couple feet off the bottom. And then you have, as you moved up, some you start to see more on the bottom. Oh wow, there's a wad down there, dude. Might be getting on them. Don't know if we can stay on them though. But they're over here, that's for sure. Oh gosh, yeah. We'll start out. That grass edge is like in 10 feet, and these fish are in 16 to 18, but they may be up there as well. But I'm gonna start out. Got a heavier sinker, 5 16 and I'm using June Bug since we got a cloudy day. Dude, they are under the boat. Dude, it is massive down there. On this point. Golly, my bait is just getting... I'm probably going to have to put a heavier weight on. Might go over there, see if we can get out of the wind. Bait, the fish are definitely closer to the bottom the closer I get. 14, they're almost on the bottom. I just got to figure out where the ones that are biting are sitting and if they'll hit a worm. There's not a lot of fish high. Seems like this 13 was where we got bit, but I like to feel some grass. I like to at least at the end of my cast hit that grass line. So you can kind of cover that line. It's usually when you're around that grass you get bit. My experience. When you kind of having to, it's hanging up, clinging, and you gotta pull on it just enough to pop it loose. So when you get bit, it's crazy. I heard it my whole life. Didn't really get to see it until I came to Florida or witness it. I'm gonna change colors. That's uh, multiple casts with this color, and I don't know why. But it made a difference last time. Pulling my sinker bobber stopper up last time I think helped too. Giving it more because they were just pecking at it. Leave the stopper up a little bit. I think we're coming up on this point. These fish sit either on the wind, up, upwind or downwind side of these points. You'll have a grass line that goes straight in say 10 or 12 feet all the way around. Then you'll have a point so that grass will come out further. And right in that turn, just like a channel swing, there he is. Oh, God, he's pecking the crap out of it. Oh, let it go. Oh, my God. Da, 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 da. And it was moving. I could tell he was moving with it. Then he let it go. I'm not sure what that is. Why, that, why they're doing that. I think he's got it now. He's got grass. Grass. It's really strange that they're biting it like that. Yep. 
Seems like they, they're either doing that, pep, 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 or it's like, bam, which made me think, I think they're spawning deeper. Just by the way that some of those fish looked, but first cast of green pumpkin and I get a bite. These fish are probably in six, seven feet. Kind of feel like I should be throwing a crankbait. You might be down there having a party on all this bait. That's either grass on the bottom or fish. Solid, solid stack of fish on the bottom. I'm seeing more in that top five foot now. Closer I get to this point. Hmm. Kind of having to work it up. Work a lot harder than I would think I would need to. Uh, now I see them on the bottom solid. There we go. Now I'm feeling grass. This is where we need to be. There he is. Let it go. No, he still got it. Oh, no. Nope. Grass. Mother freaker. No? Yeah, that worm looks super beat up. As we move down, we're going to get more in the wind. You'll find like a spot as you drift in wind. Where it's calm. And that's usually where you're going to get bit. Golly again. Da, 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 da. Golly, I don't know if they're small fish or what that is. I gotta I gotta <laughs> calm down I would set the hook and a little while I'm a little anxious. Ah I think maybe there's brim over here spawning. That's the other thing I was thinking. I saw the brim were spawning last year. I want to say it was, I, I took a picture, I want to say it was like June. In Tennessee, they spawn in April on the banks. You know, they'll spawn most of the year at different depths, but it makes me wonder if they're not spawning on the outside edge deeper water right now and next month you know they'll go to the next level water level till eventually they're fit they're spawning shallower and then they'll move out and spawn i'm not seeing brim beds i didn't really side image much but it's just strange it's like dot, 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 dot. but that's the same way they were doing it Ooh, there's bait up there i just don't think i could throw a spinner bait all this wind I got a I got one tied on half ounce I haven't thrown it much because I have that 3 8 ounce on I need to try maybe even Alabama rig I'm really surprised I haven't got bit What do y'all want? Y'all want something. What do y'all want? Something smaller? Thinking about going, I could go to a worm. 
go bigger or I could go smaller. Most of these fish are post spawns. So I'm thinking small, bigger. Not feeling any grass. Good lord. Yeah, I don't want to go lighter. It's too windy. I need to stay around that area where the, I'm getting those little taps, though. There's some Biggin. Biggin. Biggin, dude. Oh, dang. He biggin. Mr. Donkey. Mr. Donkey. Man. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look how white that fish is. Dude, he was going fat. He's fat. <laughs> That's why you come out on a crappy day. Because when you think they're not going to bite, that's when they bite. Let's see what he weighs. Huh, man, that one has pulled more drag than any of them. He's probably not five, though. Four, eight. All right. I'll take you, guys. I'll take you. Take your mother we're looking for. I need time. God, that fish is fat, dude. These fish be pre-spawn, maybe. I mean, we're still in that window. It's April. Put them in here for a minute. All right, calm down. They're on the back side of this point instead of the front. I don't want to tighten it up too much. It's weird. I fished this spot. Pre spawn. Didn't catch anything. I caught one little one. And then I was done. And then I checked it last week and it was like, whoa. Where'd y'all go? Did y'all go deeper? Or shallower? See that? Dude, there's monsters down here. Yeah, I'm gonna retie. Line's all straight up now. Fish are down on the bottom. These big ones, they hang out on the bottom.
Yeah, y'all don't want to bite now that you got my attention. Mm-hmm. I know what's going on. Oh, yeah, something's got it. Little one. Oh, dude, how long did you have it? <laughs> okay, cool. I didn't even feel them. Oh, he's got one of those nub points. Look at that. I wonder how they get that. He got a he got a bubble gum lip. Look at that. A lot of shrimps and gumbo shrimps and shrimp kebabs and fried shrimps. What's wrong with you, boy? Little one. His lips bigger than his body. Huh. That was an interesting hit. Like my line was just kind of slack. And he wasn't, didn't appear to be that far under the surface. So I'm not sure what happened there. That was a very strange situation. But we'll take him. I don't, I'm, I know he didn't hit it on the way down. Let's see, hit it on the fall from some grass. And I don't have my sinker pegged. Yeah, they're getting smaller, so we're gonna roll. I'm gonna roll there since it's closer and check. There you go. I see you, boy. What got you? White. He was waiting for him right when he got out of that grass. God, you got some nasty stuff on you. White. Sores. Man, he's heavy. Golly, he's heavy. That fish. He's heavy. He's white. Look how, look at this. Look at sores on him. That's a heavy freaking fish. I'll tell you that much. Alright, I'm going to let these two go. They're feisty. This one was 4'8". Uh, Got these two. Two nice ones. Nice. 4'8 and 3'8". Both fat. And white. Where the heck am I? It's dirty up here. Head that way. The water's deep out that way. Whew. Wow. They were fired up. All right, so um, day started good. Um, we had that cloud cover and a lot of wind, but the wind got worse and the cloud cover got less. So it got sunnier and windier. And they were there, but they just weren't biting. And I checked multiple spots. It's hard to stay on them when the wind was so bad. There's only a couple areas where you could get out of the wind, or at least you had that little patch where the wind would kind of miss it so it wouldn't be as strong. But um, can you, I mean, I threw chatterbait, a rig, um, rattle trap. Heavier Senko, Speed Worm, through a lot of different stuff. I went shallower, so further into the uh, grass edge and moved out. And it looked like the fish were out more, but like I said, it was just tough um, getting on them. So I had four total. Those were the two biggest, but they were nice ones, and that was fun. So till next time, thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. On B-Maz Vision, B-Maz out.